The word of God teaches us according to 1 John 5, 14 and 15 that this is the confidence that we have, the assurance that we have that if we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us and if we know that he hears us then we know that we have that which we have petitioned him for. The word of God also teaches us that let our prayers rise as incense and the lifting of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Prayer is the master key. Anything that is not birthed through prayer is illegal. Prayer is the birth canal of destiny and purpose. And so anything that we ask him through the medium of prayer, we know that God has inclined his ears to hear us. And in this prayer series, I want us to go before God and deal with God who is the chain breaker. God is a chain breaker. And we want to deal with the chains that have shackled us. They are chains that are physical, they are chains that are spiritual, they are chains that are mental, chains that are financial. But the Word of God assures us that He is a chain breaker. He is the God that has the power and the authority and the ability to break the shackles that have hindered us, impeded us stopped us, delayed us from walking and fulfilling our destiny in Him. In the physical realm, chains are detested as they constitute hindrances to free movement and progress. A lot of God's people are held up from the pains of stubborn chains or by the pains of stubborn chains. And the worst thing about that is that they are people who are victims of multiple chains. When chains are in place, it is absolutely impossible for us to be able to move with liberty into that which God has ordained for us. There are lots of ugly chains that constitute ugly situations, inhibitions, Naughty, pro naughty problems and for a long time many of God's people have been moving in circles being held by consequences of being under these terrible chains or shackles some chains have been given birth have given birth to even insanity and others have produced serious instability Others have rendered their victims completely useless. It is saddening that some chains have taken people to places where they cannot return because they become slaves of these chains, of these addictions, of these desires and drives and inclinations. And unless we deal with the problem of satanic chains, we may get to a situation where all things are turned upside down for us. Again, remember, chains constitute a formidable weapon of darkness. They breed shame, ignominy, guilt. They take away your honor and cause one to walk in disgrace. The devil has also chained many of God's people God's men, God's women, God's boys, God's girls. And it is my prayer that God will assist us to locate the chains that have bound us. But not only to locate them, but to break them through the power of prayer with the weapons that have been made available to us. And that is the blood of Jesus, the word, the name, the Holy Spirit. With these weapons, we are more than conquerors and we are assured victory as we endeavor to break these chains. Psalm 107 verse number 14 and 16 says, He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. All oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness 
and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. The Bible also teaches us that when Peter was imprisoned by the king, I believe it's in the book of Acts chapter 12, the word of God says that they chained his feet. They shackled him. But when prayer went forth, what did God say that the people gathered and they prayed? When the church prays, the heavens are open and God releases angelic assistance to come and break the shackles that the enemy has chained us with. And so today I want us to move into a place of prayer whereby the chains that have been placed upon us, whether they be mental, spiritual, emotional, psychological, financial, will be broken of our lives because God is able. And again, remember, prayer is the master key. And some of us are saying, well, it's not just me, it's my family, it's my marriage, it's my business, it's my project that has been chained up. But I want to let you know that through prayer, God is able. And so now, Father, in Jesus' name, as we come before you once again, we don't come in our own might or our own power, but we come in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God.